Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet elephant head. In next part, I will show the rest of elephant. And I will show you step by step how to make it uh, so even patient and handy beginners can do it. And what you'll need for this project. Pair of scissors, hollow fiber, yarn needle stitch markers, safety eye buttons, uh, pins with a large head, 5mm crochet hook and this chenille yarn. It's called Dolphin Baby from Himalaya. It's the best quality of chenille yarn. It's 100 grams and 120 meters and it's 100% micropolyester. You'll need two balls of this chenille yarn. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the head of elephant and I'm going to use 4mm crochet hook. You can use 4mm crochet hook if you want your elephant a little smaller. And start with magic ring, then chain one and this chain you have to count as single crochet because we are going to make single crochets into the magic ring. And you can grab the yarn like this or like this. So you can grab the yarn from front or from back. I'm going to grab the yarn from front. And if you want to have exactly the same elephant as me, you should grab the yarn from front. But it's just detail. And now make six single crochets into the magic ring. And you can use... 3.5 mm crochet hook to 5.5 mm crochet hook and then you'll get a different size of elephant. Okay, now you can pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. And now we have to join the round with a slip stitch. Uh, count it from the right side, insert your hook into the sixth stitch and make a slip stitch. Now we are going to work in a round, so mark the beginning of, uh, of the round. And now uh, I'm going to make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So increase every stitch all the way around. And how you can see, I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end. And six single crochets plus chain one in the first round is seven single crochets in total. At the end of this round, you should have 14 stitches in total. Okay, now I'm going to increase the first stitch. So make two single crochets in the first stitch. And now one single crochet. Then increase again. So make two single crochets. In this round, you have to increase every second stitch all the way around. And I will not say a um, number of stitches in each round because it will be in rhythm pattern. Okay, in next round, we are going to increase every third stitch. And you can see... Um, you should have one single crochet in very last two stitches in previous round. Now, increase and then make one single crochet in next two stitches. Increase again and then one single crochet in two stitches. So in this round, you have to increase every third stitch. In the next round, you will increase every fourth stitch. In the next round, you will increase every fifth stitch so if you will have any questions write me here below the video and i will help you but i think it's enough understandable okay now we have to make two rounds of single crochets so you will not increase you will not decrease make just one single crochet in each stitch around and make two rounds in total Thank you. 
in next round we have to increase again so make two single crochets in the first stitch of the round and then make one single crochet in next five stitches so in this round you have to increase every sixth stitch around Okay, now we have to make two rounds of single crochets again. So make one single crochet in each stitch around and make two rounds in total. Now I'm going to increase again. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch and then in the next six stitches make just one single crochet so you will increase every seventh stitch in this round so continue working two single crochets in every seventh stitch around and then meet me back again so you can pause the video now and then meet me back again and i will show you and i will tell you what next okay now we have to make one round of single crochets so make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around okay in next round we have to make uh, the gap for trunk so now make chain six and then skip nine stitches so count well and insert your hook into the tenth uh, stitch and make first single crochet then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round okay so continue working one single crochet in each stitch uh, to the end of this round and then I will show you what next okay next round will be easy because we have to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and uh, carefully in this chain uh, make one single crochet in each chain and you can see I'm using just uh, one loop so when you will use two loops it will not look well how can you see now? So in this part, uh, use really just one loop. It's this loop. And make one single crochet in each chain. And then it will be easier. Okay, now it's gonna be easier because uh, it's more visibly more visible so now make just one single crochet in each stitch around Okay, now we have to decrease. In next round, we have to decrease. So I'm going to make one single crochet in next seven stitches. And then I will decrease. So in this round, 
I'm going to decrease every eighth stitch all the way around. So now I'm going to use just front loop because it's invisible decrease. So it's up to you how you will decrease. And then make one single crochet in next seven stitches and decrease again. So in this round, you have to decrease every eighth stitch all the way around. So continue working. Uh, two single crochets together every eighth stitch all the way around and then meet me back again. Okay, now we have to decrease again and decrease every fifth stitch all the way around. So I'm going to make one single crochet in first four stitches. is four and now decrease so decrease every fifth stitch all the way around In next round, I'm going to decrease every fourth stitch around. So make one single crochet in the first three stitches and decrease. Then make one single crochet in the next three stitches and decrease again. Okay, in next round, I'm going to make one single crochet in next two stitches and decrease. So in this round, you have to decrease every third stitch around. Okay, because of the gap for trunk, uh, we can't finish the head now. So now we are going to finish the trunk. So take a new end of the same color of yarn. And start on the right side. And Pull the yarn through and chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and it's better when you uh, when you hide a tail behind your work it's more comfortable in this part it's more comfortable 100% Okay, at the end of the first round, you have to join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Then make again one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and meet me, meet me back again at the end of the round and use stitch marker because you need to know where is the beginning of round. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and now uh, we have to make one single crochet in the first four stitches. And then we will increase and decrease. Okay. 
Okay, on the top of, of the trunk, we have to decrease twice. So this is first decrease and this is second decrease. Then make one single crochet in next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we have to increase. So increase twice. Make two single crochets in next two stitches. And we are doing this because uh, we want to get uh, the trunk a little, a little lower, a little down. Okay, we have increased twice and now make one single crochet in next three stitches. So one. Two and three. Okay, now in next round you will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And how can you see? I'm using stitch marker. In next round uh, we will repeat the previous round previous decrease and increase round. So make one single crochet in first four stitches. And then you have to decrease twice. So it will go down now. Just a little. <laughs> so this is first decrease. I'm using just front loop again. I always uh, use invisible decrease. So this is second decrease. And then make again one single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you have to increase. So increase in next two stitches. So in next two stitches, make two single crochets. This is first, uh, this is, I'm sorry, this is first increase. And this is second increase. Then make one single crochet in next three stitches. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and in the next round make one single crochet in each stitch around. So continue working one single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, in next round you will make uh, one single crochet in next four stitches. And now decrease twice. So you can see we are doing the same like before. First decrease, this is second decrease. Then make one single crochet in next six stitches. One, two, three, four, 
five and six and now we have to increase so increase in next two stitches one increase and two increase then make one single crochet in next three stitches so in last three stitches you have to make one single crochet and now in next round you will make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around so it will be round without change without decrease without increase so make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then meet me back again okay now make one single crochet in the next three stitches so in first three stitches you have to make one single crochet then decrease twice one decrease this is second decrease and then make one single crochet in uh, each stitch to the end of this round so in this round uh, we will not increase okay in next round make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around okay and now uh, i want to get the trunk the lower part of trunk little up so make one single crochet in the first three stitches okay and now we are going to increase so make two single crochets in next four stitches so increase four times this is first increase this is second increase this is third increase and this is last increase so this is fourth increase then make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and now we have to decrease so decrease three times This is one decrease, two, and last decrease. And one single crochet in very last stitch. Okay, in next round, make one single crochet in, in the first two stitches. One single crochet, this is two. And make now two single crochets in next stitch. So increase. Now one single crochet. Two single crochets one single crochet in next stitch two single crochets one single crochet And last increase, two single crochets in next stitch. Then one single crochet in next three stitches. This is one, two, and three. And then decrease three times. So you should have six stitches left. So decrease three times. This is first decrease, this is second decrease, and last decrease of the round. 
it's third degrees. Okay, and before last round, before you close the hole, you have to uh, stuff the trunk with hollow fiber and stuff the head as well and place uh, safety eye buttons. So it's up to you where you place them. Okay, I place them here and this is how it looks like. Now we have to close the hole. So just decrease by decrease, but not till the end. Uh, I, always, uh, I always use a yarn needle for last six to eight stitches. And I will close the hole. I will finish it with a yarn needle because it will look uh, nicer. So now decrease by decrease. Okay, it looks like elephant already now. And I have a few stitches left. So pull the yarn through, cut it, cut the yarn first, then pull it through and use yarn needle for closing of the hole. Okay, it's done and you can see it looks better. Now we have to finish, uh, finish the head of elephant. So now make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you have to make one single crochet in each stitch around in two rounds. So in two rounds, uh, Make just one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, now we have to decrease again and decrease every second stitch all the way around. So decrease, then one single crochet and then decrease again. So you have to decrease every second stitch all the way around. Then in next round, you will make one single crochet in each stitch around. And then you will decrease every stitch. But again, uh, close the hole with yarn needle. And fill it in with hollow fiber. Okay, this is how it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to make uh, eye sockets.
Okay, uh, now it looks better. I like it and I hope you got it. And now you'll need uh, black and um, white cotton yarn. And I'm going to show you how to finish Eyes of Elephant. Okay, now my elephant has nice face. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make ears of elephant. Start with magic ring and then chain one. And this chain you have to count again as single crochet. Then make seven single crochets into the magic ring. So in total you'll get eight single crochets. And I'm using the same size of, of crochet hook and you have to make uh, the, this circle uh, twice. So you'll need two pieces of gray silker, uh, circle <laughs> I'm sorry, and two pieces of pink circle. Tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch. Count it from the right side. It's seventh stitch from the right side. So insert your hook into the seventh stitch and make a slip stitch. Now start in the same stitch like you made a uh, slip stitch and make two single crochets. And you have to increase every stitch all the way around. So make, make two single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, in next round, make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it will be round without change, without increase, without decrease. In next round, make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around again. So you have to increase every stitch around.
Okay, next round will be round without change. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And this is last round. So we are going to increase just half of the circle. Make two single crochets in next 18 stitches. So increase 18 stitches. First 18 stitches you have to increase. Okay, and then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. So you should make one single crochet in next 13 stitches and last stitch is slip stitch. Okay, this is how it looks like. You have to make uh, one more gray circle and two more pink circles. And now we have to join the gray one and the pink one together. And I'm going to join it together with the single crochets. So I will not use uh, slip stitch. Uh, I will not use slip stitch even on the beginning. So not something like this because it will not I think it will not look nice <laughs> so I'm going to insert your insert my hook into the first stitch on the gray circle and on the pink circle and finish the single crochet and to make one single crochet in each stitch on the gray circle and on the pink circle as well so insert your hook into the gray stitch into the pink stitch pull the yarn through and finish the single crochet make one single crochet like this in each stitch all the way around at the end make a slip stitch okay and on the bottom of ear uh, you have to so first four or five stitches. And now you can sew both ears to the head of elephant. So use pins with a large head. And then you can sew it together with an invisible stitch. Okay, and I repeat it also on the other side.
Okay, do the same also with the second ear and then sew the, the end of chenille yarn inside. Okay, and that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will look forward at the next part of this tutorial. Have a lovely day and see you soon.